right, now we have Grammy nominated saxophonist Boney James on our show. Welcome to the show. Welcome. How you doing? Oh, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Appreciate it. Tell us about this new album you have coming out, Solid. I'm super proud of the record. It had my biggest debut on the Billboard pop chart ever. It was like number 10 on the pop charts, like Lady Gaga, Harry Styles, you know. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. And then Bodie James. So that was pretty dope. When you are having an opportunity to perform live, is there an adrenaline rush? Do you do you live for that moment or are you still getting nervous and anxiety? Talk, tell us about the live show aspect. Right. You know, I mean, I became a professional musician because I love being on stage and playing with a band in front of people more than anything. That's still, and I've been doing it for 35 years now and it's still my favorite thing to do. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a feeling like nothing other, you know, it's so exciting. Sweet, now can I ask you, why did you name the album Solid? Well, you know, it was with, for me with titles, you know, it's mostly instrumental music, although of course the record does have Kenny Lattimore on there on one song. Ooh, but, Kenny Lattimore, hey. Yeah. But it's mostly instrumental music, so thinking of the title, it's all about trying to close my eyes and just think, what is the feeling I'm getting from the record? And this record was just, the word solid popped into my head because the music was helping me, you know, deal with things even before the pandemic, you know, all the news was very stressful all the things happening in the world politics and stuff. And the music, when I come out here to write, it would just make me feel better. And I thought my relationship with music is solid because solid always has my back. And right. that's where the whole idea came from. Is it strange? Okay, when I listen to your music, I know it's an instru instrumental, but I can hear words. Is that normal? When you, <laughs> when you write the songs or when you arrange the notes, are you thinking of words or? Cause I, I'm telling you. Tell I her to seek a therapist. <laughs> no, I, I understand what you're saying because a lot of people say that when I play it sounds like I'm singing and, and that's mm. kind of what I'm going for, you know, I mean, I, I don't think of myself really as a jazzer, I always think I'm like kind of an R&B singer, but I can't sing, but I can play the saxophone. <laughs> the saxophone is your voice. That's the how saxophone you know is my voice, so in my mind I'm singing, I don't hear words per se, but to me it is how I'm expressing myself and it does feel like I'm singing, so I, I can relate to what you're saying. Now, Bonnie, can I ask you another question? What type of music do you listen to outside of, you know, saxophone? Like, what other genres of music do you listen to? Well, you know, I mean, I came up just loving old school R&B. You know, Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind and Fire, Marvin Gaye. Oh, Kurt oh he got some songs. You know what, Bonnie? Hold on now. He got some songs. Yeah, that's that, that's <laughs> he that has won some Soul Train Music Awards yeah. and the NAACP Awards. Okay, I'm going to just throw that out there. Okay. Well, and my first professional gig was playing with Morris Day, and then I played with the Isley Brothers, and that was how I broke into show business, was being a sideman for some of these other bands. Yeah, Tina Marie and all these people, that's how I Not Tina. Not Tina, about not Tina. Yeah, I was <laughs> in her band. That's so awesome. Now, when you started your career, I know you have this love for music, and love for the instruments. Did you ever think that you would have this amount of success, that it would go this far? Oh. No. And now that you are, where do you see yourself in the future? Well, well the future hopefully is going to be virus free, first of all. Right, <laughs> right. There you go. When I made my first record, I thought my mom was going to be the only one to buy it. And when it kind of blew up the way that it did, oh. I was just so grateful. And I'm still grateful. You know, I don't take it for granted at all. And I just always try and make the best record that I can. And uh, my goal is just to keep doing it, to be like one of those artists that has like a really long career and on a high level. That's, that's my goal. Mm. Now, can you tell our viewers about your uh, Solid Fridays and what that's all about? Oh, okay. Well, you know, since I can't be on the road, I'm putting on like these mini, just mini free concerts. Every two weeks I go on Facebook Live. So if people want to go to my Facebook page, it's just forward slash Boney James. And I just, I'm here in my studio and we chat like we're doing with the fans. And uh, we're getting like 50,000 people are viewing this thing, which is pretty good for Facebook. And I just play a few songs from the new record and I'm digging into my closet to try and find backing tracks for my other songs. And, and uh, it's just a nice way to try and take people's minds off of what's happening and still perform a little bit. And it's, it's been a real gift for me and I think the people out there are digging it too. I just want to say, I was listening to your music warming up for this interview. And I really, if our viewers, if you, when you're watching us, if you get his album, 
it's solid. It makes you want to just turn it on and blast it in the house. You can be cooking dinner, having a glass of wine. It's truly relaxing. I feel like it's date night music. I really love this album. I really do. So thank you so yes, much for joining you. the show. And we will be uh, looking out. That album's already out. It's called Solid. And we'll catch you on your Fridays, on your Instagram on Solid Friday. All right. Thank you All so right. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you yeah. so much for joining us. Thank you.